All right, now, even in a pandemic, your kids are going to want to celebrate Halloween. And with masks mandatory in class, we're showing off how to merge the mask with the spooky outfits. DIY expert Monique Taylor Yishu is on Zoom. Hi, Monique. How are you this morning? I'm great. Good morning. How about yourself? It's Friday, so I'm happy. It, it, it is Friday, and Halloween is about a week away. And I got two kids at home, so we're not doing the trick or treating. So my wife and I have decided we're gonna like we're gonna we. I don't know why we agreed to this. We're gonna do like a haunted house in the house. So we're stressing yeah. about trying to put things together. But if your kids are going uh, trick or treating, you're gonna want to incorporate a mask 100%. So what can we do here, Monique? Okay, so the great thing is that when you find store, uh, masks in the stores, they have a lot of like plain ones. So this is a perfect canvas for you to DIY and get creative. And so what I've done, as you saw in the pictures, for example, on this one, I had a plain mask and then I added some spiders. So I had like a bag load of these um, spider rings that I, I'm like, I don't need this many spiders. So I was actually able to just cut off the back. I got a pair of scissors and I cut them off and then they are flat. And then I just added some glue from my glue gun and then I stuck it on there. So I stuck a couple on there to make the spiders. And then on the other side, I actually made a ghost and I used fabric paint. So I got fabric paint from my local craft store and I used the white for the ghost and dotted the eyes with a little bit of black. Let that dry for 24 hours and then we are good to go with that one. So I think we're going to do a, 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 like a modified version there for you. So I think you're going to be using yeah, I love some that. fabric markers, right? And keep in mind, Monique, I have no artistic uh, capabilities whatsoever. So what, what I do here is going to be a farce. What you're doing is going to be the real thing. Just keep that in mind. And I don't want you to play along and be like, oh, Darren, that's so good. You're doing a great job. No, I'll be doing a horrible job. So you don't have to pretend that I know what I'm doing here, okay? I'm just no, filling in okay. on a Friday. What do you want from it me? It will just be a scary, scare, a really scary version of whatever you're going to be doing <laughs> laying on your mask. <laughs> so yeah, you can also use your fabric markers, as I mentioned, in addition to the fabric you can do if you'd like, and then you can add your embellishment. Um, another mask that I had made that was on my other daughter was this adorable little cat mask. And of course, cats are ah. big during Halloween as well. And I opted to go with the leopard print mask because, you know, you don't want to just be plain. Uh, so we went with the leopard print mask and then we added just one of these little pink palms with some pipe cleaners and using, again, the blue gun to put the pipe cleaner on. And so I'm going to... I'll show you and Monique, make you make you, you make a good point there. Uh, in, incorporating the mask into the the costume is important. Like you're saying, your daughter, you've got the kitty cat mask. Very smart. If you could put the mask a part of the whole costume, you're halfway home. Exactly right. It pairs perfectly with the little ears, and if they want to wear, you know, the little tie or the tail, it goes perfectly. And so that's what you can do. Like these stores, they have all different colors that are available. So it's it's fairly easy to kind of make it match up with your mask. How are you doing over there? Looking uh, good. <laughs> all, with the project or life in general, Monique? Life in general, pretty good. Project, not so good. But you know what? We're, we're making do during a pandemic, Monique. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. And By the way, Monique, did you, Monique, did you see, hang on one second, did you see that uh, Louis Vuitton mask they're selling for like 1200 bucks? It's ridiculous. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And yeah, no. <laughs> no. Um, so with this other mask that I have here, I made a monster mouth. And so I love it because, you know, it has a little bit of fluff. I would probably... Uh, encourage this one for more of the grown-ups, the adults. So as you're, you know, with your kids in the house and have your little haunted houses or your little Halloween party, you can throw this one on. Um, and what I also love about this is that, um, so I got a, a mini boa, so it's very narrow. It's not like your traditional, you know, feathered bow that you throw over your shoulders, but it's quite narrow. And what I actually did with this, I actually used a needle and a thread and I sewed it on. And I just threaded it through and continued sewing around the perimeter. How's that going over there? Woo! <laughs> oh, is that a cat? I'm, 
You know what I look like, Monique? I look, I look like one of the kittens that does not get adopted. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh boy. Well, I Hilarious. I tell you Lovely. what, Monique, uh, we got to bounce yeah. here, but I tell you okay. what, this is such a good idea. You got kids trick or treating. You've got yeah. you've got to wear the mask. Why not make it fun? And it's a good project. It's also a time killer on the weekend, which is a good yeah. thing. You know what I'm talking about if you're a parent. Monique Taylor Yishu, thank you so much for joining no us. We will be right back.